I'm making this video to document things and to show you what not to do when you open your dealership. I am sick and tired of customers calling me from As Is Auto Mart telling me they got ripped off by my ex-partner. I am no longer connected with that business and this is why. Mr. Upstanding Good Person Honest Guy. Quit ripping people off. It all started with this car, a 1986 Buick Regal customized car. Very nice car that was involved in a writ of execution. What is a writ of execution? That's when the sheriff comes and takes shit away from you and resells it. Now, you're not supposed to buy the vehicle back. You cannot buy the vehicle back in a writ. But his wife, Melanie, gets her best friend to buy the car at the auction, at the writ auction, at the sheriff's auction, back for Robert. Right here is the title, the new title, in Lori Meyer's name. That is Melanie's best friend who bought the car back for them through the auction. And here is a documentation where she transferred it back to As Is Auto Mart. So you gotta be wondering, how did I get this documentation? Well, the problem is, evidently the DMV still has me on there as one of the owners, and they give them my phone number, and they call and complain to me. Now, there has been plenty of complaints, but this one is the most alarming, the most illegal. Like, how could you be stupid enough to do things like this? Car dealerships, this is training. And no, we don't do this types of stuff. This is highly illegal and unethical. Okay, so this guy calls me and says, I've been ripped off by your company, as is Auto Mart in Tony Town, Arkansas. So the customer was demanding Fix this, fix this. I can't get a title for it. I can't get nothing for it. Help me. And I said, hey, look, I don't have anything to do with that place no more for this reason and other reasons. But I will try to help you and point you in the right direction you need to go to get your title fixed. So, Mr. Honest Guy evidently did not want to run the car through the business. I wonder what reason that could be. Maybe it ended up in his possession again after a writ. Or maybe he just didn't want to show it on his books if they're available for other people to look at it. Mm, don't know. Nevertheless, he did not give a bill of sale from as is because he had to put it into the computer system and evidently he didn't want to put it into the computer system for whatever reason and now this guy is stuck with a title that's all marked up with no bill of sale no affidavit nothing now remember a dealer is selling this car to a guy to the member of the public they have to follow rules like a buyer's guide that is a federal law a bill of sale <laughs> oh my god Check the bill of sale he gave to this guy. Ch check this out. Check it out. Are you kidding? A blank piece of paper with his signature. Holy hell. And folks, it gets better. <laughs> or worse. Not only did he buy the car back from the writ underhandedly, He's making these attorneys that are after him look like bumbling idiots because they sided with this guy. And this guy is right in the middle of contempt of court for not showing his assets. And then he provided a new list of assets, which is not right, and said, 
I hope this pleases the court. <laughs> but I'm the one hiding assets and he's the honest guy. For God's sakes, they're taking payments from this guy. <laughs> Shit, the reason he's making payments is all the money that was made off of my back. <laughs> off of my back. Good God. Let's get back to business. It gets better. Mr. Honest Guy <laughs> sold the car on October 15th, but illegally post dated the title for November 17th, and it gets better. So the customer says, I asked him to post date it so I'd have time to register it. <laughs> you are a car dealer. A car dealer. So much responsibility. And you will risk your license for that. Folks, absolutely, positively, let this be a lesson to you. Don't do that. It's against the law buyer's guide. You don't give them one. They don't sign one. It's against the law. A bill of sale with your letterhead on top. If you don't give them one, that's against the law. This is not a private sale. This is a dealer sale. Selling it to a person out of state with a marked up title. No bill of sale. No buyer's order falsifying the title falsifying everything and we're not done yet folks but they're the honest people thank god for honest people so this guy buys it for a total of fifteen thousand dollars he's asking like twelve five for it uh but since it's a trade-in he wants a little bit more if you're trading in something. So he got $5,500 by debit card. And then he gets a Suzuki truck and he gets a Subaru car. And the value comes up to around $15,000 in his mind. None of this was reported on the asset sheet plus a ton more by the honest guy. Okay, folks. So he buys the car at a sheriff's auction for $2,000 that he wasn't supposed to buy it back from. Uh, and all the illegal shit up until this point is really bad. But the kicker is that what he got for the car. He, he got $15,000 plus. He got a debit card transaction of $5,500 and there was some cash. I have pictures of that right here. And there was two trades. I mean, this could, this gets better as I continue to talk to this guy, which I am doing right now. I'm here to help. I want to sell good cars to good people just like me. And remember, folks, if you have to say you're a good person, you know the rest. And don't forget, his wife is not involved in the business. So... I'm not only documenting things for myself, I'm documenting things for you, new dealers, so you know what not to do. And you'll also know there's stupid fucking dealers out there that are doing the stuff that you're not supposed to do. I'm going to give you the best advice, the best tip I ever gave someone ever in existence. Are you ready? Always do the right thing, even when someone isn't looking, because I will tell you, everything will always come to light sooner or later. 
God bless y'all. Thank y'all. Let's keep the videos rocking. To good people just like me.